to the Geekiverse. I am Chelsea the Tuna. This is Sammy B. And we are talking about Days Gone. We are pumped. So pumped. Us. pumped. Yes. All right. Yes. Talk to me. Oh my gosh. Days Gone looks absolutely phenomenal. It's a um, PlayStation 4 exclusive. Yay. Um, it looks very <laughs> reminiscent of uh, The Last of Us. Um, the trailer was absolutely brutal. Um, it just shows this guy, I think his name is Deacon. Uh, Deacon St. John. Yeah, St. John, who is just riding through, um, like, this post-apocalyptic world where there are freakers, also, a.k.a. zombies. Um, let's call them what they are. Yeah, they're zombies, let's be real. Everyone's trying to jazz up their names. But they're a little it's more zombies. humanized. Yes, and they evolve, which is really creepy, which also is reminiscent of Left 4 Dead. Mm -hmm. Um... But uh, as gameplay progresses, it shows him um, trying to infiltrate this base or like this like little Colony? settlement. Yeah, little settle uh, settlement, and he it uh, just yet again I'm gonna use this word brutal where he uh, sets a trap. The guy gets his leg caught in it, and he's screaming, and he knows that this will alert the zombies to that location. And you can hear the other like settlers like telling him to calm down, calm down. And he's just screaming about his leg, and you start climbing up on the hill, and you see this horde of zombies running towards the settlement, and you're just like, "Well, that is unsettling." <laughs> well, then, then they pour in and just take everybody yeah, out. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they shoot. They shoot the guy who had his leg in a bear trap to make him stop, and then that kind of alerts the zombies to their presence. And it, you, as you're controlling, like the players controlling Deacon to get into the settlement because you're trying to rescue your friend. Um, he also blows up a fence, and it just lets all the zombies just pour in, and they just take out everyone. And I'm just like, wow. It's like, intense. Yes. It's, it's intense, intense, intense. Absolutely intense. Um, it'll probably be a game that I will definitely be picking up, as I, even though I'm such a chicken, Chelsea. Um, I'm coming to your house to play, because I don't have a PS4. But, yes. um... It's open world, which is really cool. Yes, it is and open world. Um, I, oh, I can't wait for this game. It's gonna, it looks so amazing. And there's also a zombie bear wrapped in barbed wire. Oh yeah, wire. that was the best part of the trailer. Was at the very end after you rescue your friend, you hear like this roar, which if you play Skyrim, you know that's bad. Um, and then you just see this bear, and it's just making these ungodly noises, and then it kind of closes up on it, and it has bob barbed wire, like, wrapped around its, like, frame, and, it, like, an axe. And, like, patches of, of hair gone, yeah. and its eyes are... Yeah, like, crazy, and you're just like, oh my god, and then it just ends. And you're like, what happens? But, yeah. So we've got zombie people that evolve, and uh -huh. we have zombie bears, and... Who knows what else? I mean, there was a dog that he shot when he was on his oh yeah on his bike, which it was awesome because it slowed down time. Yep. Um. The, yeah. The, like this game. Oh, it's. I feel like this is this may be a contender for uh, game of the year. Yeah. And um, did we have a release date for sure on that, or is it kind of unrevealed? I I, I don't think it was revealed. I think it's just still in the works as this point. <sighs> Dang it. Yeah. Well heard it here at the Geekiverse from Sammy B and me the Tuna. Thank you guys so much for watching and comment below what you think about this game. We'll talk to you later.